Hi, I'm Sherry McGill, and you're watching Lessons Learned. Hello there, welcome back to Finish It Friday. You are not seeing my face today because I'm sick. Uh, but I didn't want to not put the video out for you because we had some nice uh, quilt submissions this week. So I'm going to share those with you right now. First of all, you can see on my design wall back there the Shimmer Quilt by Cluck Cluck So, uh, done up in Riley Blake and Moda and, and other prints there, is put together. And there's not going to be any uh, borders with this. So this quilt top is essentially done. So all I have to do now is quilt it and bind it. And then let's go ahead on to your submissions. I have one from Anja from Holland. We, she submitted uh, her work before and she does some wonderful stuff. Uh, she did this um, rose kind of pattern, flower pattern uh, there that's just really mesmerizing. It just really looks like art. And then look at the quilting on the back there, uh, how that is mimicked uh, of what is on the front. Uh, here's what she says about it. She says, last Sunday, I finally finished my rose garden. I made this for a co-worker who asked for flowers in lots of colors. It's made from scrap strips. The back is just all white, but you can see the quilting on it. It took me a long time working. But I'm pleased with it. I hope my co-worker will like it also. I am sure she's going to like this. It's a beautiful job. Love it. And then Pam submitted her last uh, um, vintage mystery block that we did. I think she's still working on some of the other blocks. But uh, she got her house block done and wanted to share that. And she's uh, submitted some before with this beautiful um, blue and chickadee fabric and she's used that for the sky so that's that's really cool she asked me about her green door if she, I thought that it looked good I think it looks great so keep working Pam you're gonna have your quilt top done here before long and then Ernest Sewell <clears throat> he uh, did a wedding quilt recently and uh, the fabric is Violet Hill by Holly Taylor. The pattern is Criss Cross by Cozy Quilts. And he says Donna Jordan did her own tutorial on it a couple of years ago. A friend did the label, and there's a picture of that. And he didn't remember what the backing fabric was from. The quilting pattern is a dragonfly motif pantograph. And since the fabric is garden nature based, that was fitting. And then the pattern also calls for two accent fabrics. And it was a huge undertaking. This quilt is 96 by 96, which is eight foot square. Um, you'll see on the label there that there's a little bit of a Disney uh, motif. And that is because the couple met, I believe, in Disney. And so that was very fitting to put something Disney related on there. And he's already gifted the quilt, and they loved it, as I can imagine. Lori sent us her finished pinwheel quilt. And she says the pillow shams are made from a charm pack. Sashing and binding were jelly roll. The fabric is Royal Knights by Carrot Gems from Wilmington. The backing and background on the shams are from Joann's. And I think they coordinate well. Yes, they do. And she sent this off to have Missouri Star Quilts quilt it. She's got a nice purple background on there, too. I like all these berry colors. It just looks like a bowl of berries to me. But nice job on your pinwheel quilt. And then Jenny, uh, she says she enjoys watching the channel. She's a beginner quilter, and this is the first quilt top she's completed. And it uses French General Fabric by Moda. And she's very happy with how it turned out. And I can see how you would be. It looks like it's done in pinks and reds and whites. Maybe some burgundies there. Coordinates really, really well. An easy uh, block pattern, but once it's all put together, it looks very complicated. 
beautiful. And then Giselle sent us one too. Uh, it's a panel quilt. Uh, she said she fell in love with this panel. So built this quilt around it for the first time and love it. I decided on a local long armor and had it done in hollyberry pattern as a gift to myself. <laughs> I also tied some large red buttons on the inner cornerstones to mimic the berries. And maybe you'll be able to see that there on the picture. She's got those big buttons in the corners. She, she just did a like a embroidery floss tie there. But that's a really cute panel with the red um, birdhouse and the chickadees on there. So thanks for being with me today. And I hope you enjoyed all the submissions that we had. And uh, I thought about um, maybe putting this off till Wednesday, but... I know everybody's going to be expecting the video on Friday, so I went ahead and did the best I could. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you back here on Monday for Monday Quilt Chat. Bye!